Welcome to the John McAllister Report, where John McAllister, top football evaluator, interviews college and high school coaches and athletes from around the country. Sit back and enjoy today's podcast. This is John McAllister with the McAllister Report, and today my guest is a freshman linebacker about to be a member of the 2025 class in Ohio. He plays linebacker at Cincinnati Elder High School. He's got a tremendous future. Talking with him, I like his attitude. I like his his focus, and I like his confidence. And I'm really excited for him. Watch this tape. He plays inside or outside. He can play downfield, downhill. He can run downhill. He can drop into coverage. And uh, – has a lot of skills, and plus, I think he can be nasty. He started as a freshman for Cincinnati Elder in the tough, tough, tough Catholic League in Cincinnati. So uh, you got to be impressed with that alone. And now the biggest thing for him will be handling success and also continuing to get better. You know, he's 6'1", 210 right now, and uh, – like I said, he just gets to continue to get better. Sit back and enjoy my podcast with Maddox Arnold from Cincinnati Elder High School. Okay, my guest today is Maddox Arnold from one of my favorite schools, Cincinnati Elder High School, and one of my favorite coaches down there, Doug Ramsey. Yes, sir. Uh, now, here's where the first thing I ever heard about you, Maddox. Mm -hmm. not, not everybody starts as a freshman at Saint or at Elder. Mm -hmm. and not every, no one has started as a freshman besides you at yes, sir. and elder is a pretty good football program how yes, are you doing today i'm doing pretty good today how are you your schedule is coming up crazy in camp schedule isn't it yes sir yes sir coming up fast and you got a lot of them not too many i hope no not too not, not too much at all yeah because you get tired of those last ones but you i bet you have it spread out i've seen it on twitter but i didn't really absorb it Mm -hmm. Okay. You play any other sports? Uh, I run track. You run track? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I heard you, what, you break a 12 this year or in 100? Or... Oh, yeah, I broke 12. I ran an 11.8 was my fastest. That's really good, man. Don't anybody tell you different. Yes, sir. Okay. You throw the shot? Oh, I did not throw a shot. I just run. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, maybe someday you'll be throwing that discus or shot. Yeah, yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's talk about, first of all, football. Why football? What made you decide to play football? Um, I think the first reason why is because my dad. My dad, I just grew up all around it when he played, and he always taught me about it. We always watched it, so I just grew up loving the game. And then I told my dad I wanted to play, and he signed me up. When did you start playing? Um, I started playing when I was about, I think, seven years old. Okay. Okay, that's good. Your dad played what? Western Kentucky, right? Yes, sir. I'm good, aren't I? See, mm -hmm. I do all this homework. Yeah. Anyway, what? Okay, in your obviously, I was joking earlier, but telling the truth, mm -hmm. you're the only freshman ever to start at Elder. Yes, sir. Okay. So, you're really, really young. But what do you think so far helped you start at Elder? What has made you the football player you are right now? Um, I think what's helped me a lot is that my drive for the game, how hard I work and what I do outside of just like not just in school, but what other work that I do that help me get better in my game. So I think all the hard work and all that. Good. OK, as you look back so far, anybody mm -hmm. you really can attribute to kicking you in the butt and say, hey, keep working hard and keep pushing within reason not crazy but within reason anybody like that um i think my uncle and my dad do that a lot they they're really on me they push me very hard 
they want the best for me and everything I do. They help correct a little bit then too, it's, don't it's, they? It's to keep okay, me first, first crazy question. Mm -hmm. If you could spend one whole day from 6 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night mm -hmm. with anybody just to be around them, who would it be? Um, I think it would, like one person or... One who, person. One person I think would be my dad. Me and my dad have a close relationship, and that would be one person I would do that with. Okay, we'll consider that done. Now, what about a celebrity or an athlete or something like that? Oh, uh, I think the one celebrity that I would love to hang around with is, hmm, that's a good question. Probably Ray Lewis. He's football. Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis, yeah. He's mm -hmm. pretty good. And that was a nice tribute to your dad. He's that special. You'd like to hang with him for a whole, whole day. Yeah. <laughs> what? What words? You're young. You're only going to be a sophomore. But what? What words? What motto? What poster slogan? Anything like that drive you? Um, no one will outwork me. Okay, nobody will outwork you, especially at your age and even older now. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good. Yes, How's sir. school going? School's going very good. I finished the year off strong with uh, good grades, good GPA. That's really good at Elder. You want to get those grades early and get them, get that built up so you can take a little bit, a little bit easier time when you, you get older as a senior. Yes, okay. Sir. What would be, uh, what would be a favorite subject? My favorite subject in school is um, probably math. I love math. I've always loved math. It's one subject I like. That's really good. Any in the last three years, or even when you played uh, youth league football, anything, anything right now that you'd put in your scrapbook and say, "Hey, I'll never forget that." Uh, well, what did you say? Sorry, I didn't hear the last part. Well, anything that you put in your scrapbook? Um, I think the one thing was so I played last year. I played for a team called the Tower Titans. We were a national team, so we would drive around and play other teams. And we went down to Louisville, and that was like a big game. They were nationally ranked, and I think I got humbled from that because they were a lot bigger, and I just had to see where I standed against them, and I think I standed pretty good, but that was just one place that I felt humbled at. You remembered it, though, too, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. You played well. Okay, let's talk football. You're a linebacker. Yes, sir. It looks like I would – hopefully you don't grow into a defensive end because no, I like the linebacker. Yeah, you know, linebacker. Where are you now, weight wise? You're about you're six one. Well, how yeah. much you weigh right now? Oh, uh, I'm around probably 210, 205. That's really good. I thought you might be heavier than that, but that's mm -hmm. that's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yes, that's huge. Okay, let's talk to linebacker. Mm -hmm. What are your strengths at linebacker? Um, I think one of my big strengths is speed. I'm able because I play because last year Elder put me at inside and outside. So I was able to play both of those. And an outside, I was able to show my speed, get around tackles, and uh, use my speed to maneuver my way across the linemen. And then another one of my strengths is how physical I am. I'm a very physical. I love to hit. And at linebacker, you have to love to hit. So that's another one of my things. What else? One more. Um, one more is probably leadership. I show good leadership on the field, help my teammates out, and help them what if they need something, I help them around. Good. What do you have to improve on? Um, the thing I need to improve on is my uh, agility, my hand place, like my hands against Lyman, because I feel like that's one thing I struggle on or struggled on this year. So I think it, I've been working on that lately, and I've been getting a lot better from last year. What do you mean, disengaging or what? Blocks? Um, and stuff? It's just like the finesse movements of getting oh. around the tackles. Oh, I see. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, here's what I think, okay? You didn't ask me, but I get to tell you. Mm -hmm. I think you do a really good job at linebacker. Thank okay, you. I think the one thing, you have good speed. You know, you're going to get older and bigger mm -hmm. and stronger and faster, all that. But, you, but maybe early quickness getting out of your stance a little bit, but yes, you have really good closing speed. Yes, sir. And when you get there, you mm -hmm. finish plays. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Mm -hmm. That's a compliment. 
Yeah, yes, sir. You do almost run through guys. Yes, sir. And run through guys, okay? Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. played out hill very well. And the other thing is, like you said, you mm -hmm. keep your eyes downfield. I mean, excuse me. You keep your shoulders square looking mm -hmm. for the ball. And you find it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's really good. You did a good job. Everything, you have all the basics. And I even watched a few times there where you you, you don't want to take on blocks if you don't have to. No, I mean, that's you, right. don't want, you don't want to blow them up, I mean. And not yeah. this age. Yes, Maybe sir. In the old days. But yeah. uh, you can off blocks pretty well. I thought that's what you're going to tell me. You mm -hmm. take on the block with your hands and still keep your eyes downfield. But yes, I think sir. you do a good job at that and uh, run pretty well. I mean, you're not playing. I don't want to be sarcastic, but you're not playing Division Seven teams either. You know, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're mm -hmm. playing good competition. Very and good. Another thing I think is really good. Maybe it's instinct, mm -hmm. but when you your pursuit angles, you know, you go where the guy's going to be. You don't yes, go sir. where he was. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Yes, it looks really good. I'm like, see my notes. Oh, the other thing I would tell you in my notes here is that you drop, when you get into drop coverage, you're also able to react to tackles. Yes, sir. When you get into, when you drop, you didn't, you didn't have to drop a whole lot, but you do a good job of closing. So yes, that's all good. all good to you. Yes, sir. What, uh, here's my second crazy question. What talent do you not have, and, but you wish you had, but you'll never get? Oh, that's actually a very never, good one. Mm. You, you know, you want it, but you probably never be able to do it. Yeah. Mm, I'm trying to think of that. Probably be able to, like, do flips and stuff. How, how <laughs> you see people do all that. I'm just not, like, acrobatic like that. Okay, good. And you probably won't. And maybe if you get a touchdown in a big game, you can do a, a flip in the end zone. Coach yeah, may not like that, but yeah. uh, don't tell him I said to do it. Oh, so that's really that. good. Okay. We talked about that. What's What advice, because you're really close to being there, you got to tell a freshman. Mm -hmm. you got to tell a freshman this year that's pretty good, but he's really getting depressed because he wanted to play more and things like that. What are you gonna tell him, Maddox? Um, just go along with it. Don't don't rush it. Don't rush it at all. Just go along with the process. Things happen for a reason, and that you just need to trust the process. Well, and you've proven. Mm -hmm. You know, some guy coaches are bullheaded and they wouldn't play a freshman mm -hmm. just out of because they're bullheaded. Yes, but sir. you've proven you can play, so you can also tell a guy, mm -hmm. hey, keep working hard, man. You got a chance. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I liked what you do and you pursue at linebacker. How tough is it going to be to be a leader as a sophomore? Um, I don't think it's gonna be that tough because kids from last year they they've I've been helping a bunch of older kids with things because of I've had the experience that they've haven't had. So I've been helping a lot of kids. So I think I'm already helping leading a lot more as a sophomore already. And I'm helping my team out a lot with just drills to help us get better as an all together good. And communicating. That's really good. And plus, you can play. Yes, sir. That helps a lot too. I yes, mean, sir. you know, you get you play. You can walk, you talk, and stuff. You're gonna get just better by age, but you mm -hmm. can play. You're, you're good at that. Now, let's talk about something. That videos. How much mm -hmm. video do you watch? How much video of teams do you have of yourself? So, and, um, yeah. so I during the season I would go so like at our school we would have like free periods. That whole free period I'll just watch film of the team that we're playing that week or team that we're playing the next week. And I'll just study that film hard. But now since we're at a season, i we have our schedule out, so I'm already watching film for this upcoming year. Yeah. That's good. And just evaluating teams, seeing what they have, what they're coming back with, and just watching them. That's really good. And I and you know, I've always thought, you know, we didn't have, you know, I, I coached 30 years ago, but we didn't have obviously huddle and all that stuff now. And you can watch, you can watch it on your phone here and all that yeah. crap stuff. But uh 
I think the more film you watch, pretty mm -hmm. soon you get, a, especially as a linebacker, you get a feel for it. Yes, sir. You, know what I mean? you just get a feel, or maybe that guard does something, you know, mm -hmm. good chance they're coming at me or something like that. And I think it's huge. Watch yes, as much video as you can. It's, mm -hmm. it's good. It'll help you so much. Okay. Yes, now, best thing about playing football, what is it? One thing. One thing. Fam the kids around you. The relationship you build. That's really good. It's, mm -hmm. a, a, lot of, a lot of you guys say that. A lot mm -hmm. of you players say that. And that's, that's, that's huge. Teammate. Camaraderie. And uh, sure. it has to be really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have any worst thing about playing football? Um, honestly, I do not. Somebody yelling at you, does that not get to you or not? Or anything? No, I, well, I, from my opinion, I love when coaches yell on me because that makes me focus in more, get me more focus, and drives me. More. It means he expects something out of you, too. <laughs> they believe in you. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's talk just a few more things, and uh, this – we're doing a good job. Okay. Let's talk about, I, I bring up energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of set it in different things you've said. What kind of energy can you bring? Number 40, I think. What kind mm -hmm. of energy can you bring to the team? Um, well, to be honest, I'm always, I'm always like, like hyper juiced, like juiced up, always excited. So I think I, when I come in, I'm always bringing the energy with like, getting them pumped up, getting them moving, and just getting them, like, all, like, just, like, moving them more. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Okay. Early in your young career, yes, has sir. there ever been a time when the light came on, when you said, man, I got to step it up. I got to get my behind in gear. Has there been a time like that? Um, so yes, there was. When I was probably in – Sixth grade, I had a great game one game and had a bunch of tackles and all these people were telling me how good I play and I was like, yeah, I really, I could really have a future in this and I really want to and I really want to. So then that was that one moment where I realized I want to work really hard towards the sport and do everything I can to get to the next level. That's really good, Matt Maddox. Really good. Okay. I'm going to recruit you. I'm going to drive down to Cincinnati two hours and 45 minutes, and I've got to go through the back streets there to get the elder. Yes, sir. Okay. What is the number one quality that you have? Just not, not athletic. What's mm -hmm. the one quality? I said, man, I like that good kid. What would it be? Like, um, probably leadership. Good. Good. You're good. You're a leader and you've got, uh, that's really good. And you're a position where you sure. need to be a leader. That's sure. super. Okay. Tough question coming up. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask you, and I don't ask everybody this, but I'll ask you, uh, you've gotten a, you know, starting, you've gotten, I've read where you're the best top five linebackers in the country, top five kids in your class of yes, sir. 2025. I read all that stuff. How are you going to handle that? Hmm. Great question. How do you I think, handle that? Um, I think, um, I think I handle it pretty good. I think I'm handling it pretty good. I don't, I'm a humble kid. I don't go out and brag about it at all. I just play the game and I don't go, I just go out there knowing that, I just go out there doing me, doing what I know I can do. That's good. Being you, the good you, right? Yes, sir. The good you. Okay. That's that's really good because you do have a tough job. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are some other kid, other players in the class of 25 that are – you got a good class. Mm -hmm. The 24 is ahead of your good class. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, uh, let's finish up here. Tell me just a little bit about recruiting. Just a little bit. Well, um, how's that going? One little thing I know I've noticed about recruiting is that I've all, I've been able to talk to a lot of coaches in school. I've got pulled out of classes in school, and I've okay. loved talking to the coaches like that, getting to know like their name, getting to know the school they're at, and getting connections with them. That's one thing I like about recruiting. Okay, good. That's really good. And uh, the other thing is, and you've boy, you just have to be able to separate the mm -hmm. truth from the 
It's like offers. You know, there are very, you probably, but there are very few real offers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're called committable offers. Mm. Very few, especially with seniors. You read all that. Anyway, end of sermon. Okay, I really appreciate you taking the time. You know, it's been 19 minutes and it's been fun. Yes, okay? sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you so much. Great to talk to you.